Hola estudiantes, it's Mrs. Santiago here, and today we're going to review Serena Star. I'm in your OneNote, Chapter 10, and the page is called Review of Serena Star. I'm going to eliminate the table of contents and make the page big so that we can take the notes. Right at the top, we have our first notes. So Serena Star, which one should it be? Okay, that's kind of a play because what do they both mean? To be. Okay, so we think of SARE as more permanent. So SARE, what does it stand for? You can see I've already included the D and T. What is the acronym that we use to remember when to use SARE? Okay, so it should be D-O-C-T-O-R. See if you can remember. What's the D stand for? Date. Occupation. Characteristic. T is for time. O is for origin. R is for relationship. Great job. Now let's look at a star. A star is the more temporary to be verb. You already have the P and the C. Let's remember what they stand for. Well, let's put the other ones in. P-L-A-C-E, place. A star goes with place. The P stands for position. L is location, more general than position. A stands for action. Remember, action is the ando, yendo verbs. C stands for condition, temporary condition. E stands for emotion, emotion. Emotions are also temporary. Muy bien, let's review. Ser, date occupation, characteristic. And with characteristic, we mean adjectives, time, origin, relationships. A star, position, location, action, condition, emotion. Muy bien. Now let's practice conjugating them. You should be able to remember how to conjugate ser all the way back from the beginning of seventh grade. Yo soy. Tu eres. El, ella, usted, es. Nosotros somos. And ellos son. A star was at the beginning of eighth grade. Yo estoy. Tú estás. El, ella, usted, any one person or thing, está. Nosotros estamos. And two or more people, están. Muy bien. Now let's see if we can figure out which one to learn to which verb to use, conjugate it, and give the reason on the line. Okay, well, I like to work backwards, so I'll do the first one with you. Blank el martes el primero de junio. So I like to look at the information first and figure out what that is. El primero de junio. That is a date. So I'm going to work backwards and I'm going to write the word date because I know it's a date. I can go back up, find the word date, and then I know that it's ser. So I like to put ser at the end of the sentence. Now conjugate it to match. Well, think of the word oi out here today. How many days are we talking about? Just one. So oi s. Es el martes el primero de junio. Muy bien. Now, I want you to look at en el aeropuerto un estudiante tristes muy inteligentes. See if you can figure out the reason and then the right verb. From the right verb, go ahead and conjugate it on the line to match the people doing the actions. Okay, muy bien. Now for 
classwork to practice. Serena star. Use the pictures to inspire sentences using Serena star. On the numbered line, write the sentence and write the reason you choose that verb on the colored line below. Okay, so I'm going to do a sentence about the boy, this little boy. And I'm going to say, El niño, the little boy, está jugando con el tren. Okay, so I chose a star, and the reason I chose a star, and I'll write that on here, the reason I chose a star, and I'm actually going to write it in red, is because I'm using an action. Whoa, whoa, super big. Okay, because I'm using, there we go, an action. And you can see there's the ando. Okay, so you need to write three more about that picture. Yes, they're based in Peru because this is our Peru chapter. Now we have a second one. Hmm, let's see. This one, I'm going to talk about the llamas, obviously. And I'm going to call them they. So I'm going to say ellos um, son amigos. Ellos son amigos. Well, I chose ser because I'm talking about amigos. So it's an R for relationship. How are they connected? Oops, I wrote relations. There we go. Relationship. Okay, so for both of the pictures, you need to do tra um, trace sentences, filling out dos, tres, cuatro for each picture. If you have any questions, please let me know. Gracias.